hopefully the camera is going to pick this up nice, the sound up and everything, but I'm going to cough right next to you guys, and I'm going to go over there in the very back of my little mini dojo and just cough like hell into this cylinder and see if you guys can actually hear it. I'm going to cough out loud, cough into the cylinder. Cough out loud, cough into the cylinder. In front of you, back there. Ready, here we go. Cut. The art of coughing. Muffled cough with the cylinder. I was coughing like hella loud. I was coughing at my full power. My throat's a little sore from. Woo! Okay, oh, yeah. My throat is a little sore from like force coughing, but about 12 feet away, I coughed as loud as I can into this thing, and I can't even hear it myself, so I doubt you guys are hearing it. It works, in a sense, there. I have officially, physically tested the art of coughing with a simple stuff your face in a cylinder and cough into it, and it works. There it is. These right here are pretty much close to a year old. I have a few left in this little bag here that I keep as an example purpose for whoever comes along and starts asking me questions about this stuff. And here I have four left. Bam. Whoa. Here. I want to give you guys a nice little like look at a little up close session. These are a year old, guys, and they're they're probably still good. Basically, they're dehydrated. Okay, these right here can be boiled. I mean, I could probably to the to right here today because this is nothing but cinnamon and nuts, rice, and now is about it. Rice flour. So once you've dehydrated this, as long as there was no mold producing or anything of that nature, it's dehydrated. I imagine, you know, as an emergency food ration, I would still, if I was starving out in the field, I would boil this and eat this shit. I would eat this right up. So anyways, how I'm preparing now is I'm making some arrows, some practice arrows. I'm gonna give you guys a quick tip on how to make practice arrows, or a quick idea that I had, all right? So, ping pong ball. Simple ping pong balls, I found out, are actually working really good. As you can see, I got this one drying up right now. I just kind of take that excess foam and I smear it around the edge like so to kind of create a glue form. Now, how I do this is pretty quite simple. Just take a razor blade, an exacto blade, a simple knife, and I cut a tiny little X. See this? Make sure I'm in frame. I just cut a tiny little X. Slice in there and a slice in there so it's a little crisscross. So this way I can just stick the shaft right down oh here do, 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 do. I can stick the shaft of the arrow right down the middle but that's after I fill it with some spray foam right so what I do is I simply take this spray foam stick it right in that hole and start spraying it with foam just fill that baby up top her off like a like a fancy drink fill the ball with spray foam after you've made your little crisscross cut hole right once it's full and you see it like the, the spray foam starts expanding and coming out of the hole like this, that's your time to put the shaft inside oh, and don't push it all the way down. Just barely like leave it, leave some room between the tip and the actual surface of the ball. So that way again the spray foam actually has the impact uh, padding. Now again take all that excess foam that's on the edge and just kind of smooth it out. This one's turning out a little crooked. It's the way I cut my hole. There we go. That one's a little wobbly than my green one, but that'll still be nice. Perfect little practice arrows to uh, use the arrow stopper with, to uh, simply archery tag, um, sending letter arrows and stuff like that to each other crazy so yeah safety first guys uh try to always think about every kind of repercussion and, and consequence between you know your projects and your project ideas and testing things and, and whatnot 
Um, obviously, we're not irresponsible practitioners. We, you know, take into consideration as much safety as we can um, within our practice groups and whatnot. And that's that, yeah.